Pat, as a people capability professional, has so much on her plate and so much to achieve in what is often a limited amount of time. She looks after new starters, she looks after knowledge and performance management, to name but three of the different types of tasks that she is responsible for. And because of that, she needs to use her time very wisely and ensure colleagues love what she's doing and she's getting a greater level of outcomes in that time she spends with colleagues. And that's why she uses big picture tools. And I'm going to explain a little situation here for performance management. So the same kind of patterns work across everything that Pat does, and that's why she uses it. Here she's talking to colleague one who is in operations. Now, the way Big Picture works is that colleague will have moved themselves to the place they see themselves in the business or where they maybe see themselves adding most value, which isn't always the same as their role title. So immediately a really good conversation to have. If the question is here, how is that colleague going to be the best version of themselves over the next period? whether that's six months or a year in the context of performance management, Pat thinks it's really important to get that colleague talking about their own experiences and making their own connections. And this is what this conversation is going to be about. And in order to achieve that, you see with big picture, we have these different lenses to apply into that conversations. And all of these can be stickers, poker chips or digital assets that can be pulled onto the big picture board, which would be shared between Pat and the colleague she was speaking with. So it could be, who are the different people you might have relationships with now and in the future uh, to be the best version of yourself? How does that impact the customer? And we'll touch upon that a little bit later. Technology is that an inhibitor and enabler for what you need to use it for in terms of achieving the best version of yourself. Measures of good, clearly what is going to mean success for you as an individual, the team and the organization. The money in, money out, how do you impact that? And what processes and procedures might you use now or could you stop or start or continue using in the future? Now, because of that, the challenges and the opportunities of that are then talked about in the context of performance management are going to be so much more powerful. So we'll just develop the board a little bit here to bring on some of these symbols. So we'll bring on a, a measure symbol here. Uh, they may have, a uh, colleague one may have identified a challenge here. They may have said we'll impact the money and then money in money out like that we talk to colleague three here in marketing and we talk to colleague two here in administration and this is the way with this connection symbol we join all of those things together now it may be that some challenges come out of that and it might not just be in the area where colleague one works they may make a connection and by saying i'm in operations but if marketing maybe achieved this then that would enable me to be better and the team and the organization be better and um, so that's really important as well and those shouldn't be left behind really good to generate as many challenges as possible particularly in big picture terms when we can turn those into opportunities so opportunities are a key here again don't all need to be actioned in the session but can be taken away and i think it's a really good insight for pat to feed those into a wider initiative within the organization which can be actioned at the senior management team or in other teams once they're prioritized and sorted. It's really interesting that for performance management that we create a safe environment in which this colleague can express themselves and instead of pointing fingers at people within the workplace, they can use the big picture board to send those thoughts and make those connections. And we find that's a really powerful way that people see themselves using big picture and sharing more useful truths than they would have done previously. Brief background on why this works. You can see it's very visual, it's very playful, everybody gets involved. And it's the science of semiotics, which is about bringing meaning to the visuals that we see. Really important thing to leave you with, if I may, you'll see at the top the purpose of the organization, the customer journey running left to right and the value creation at the center. Great way to talk through performance management in that context, particularly with regard to the business overall. How is your performance going to improve that really powerful triangle? And I'll leave it with you there. It's just a simple talk through of performance management. If you want to know more, let me know and we'll go through it, buy some kit, join our community and let's have the conversation.